Good morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Tuesday. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. All right, everybody. Dun, dun, dun. Well, today is Tuesday, December 15th, and it's day five. Tuesday, December 15th, and it's day five. I wanted to thank everybody who worked so hard to make yesterday a safe and joyful day. For our students, staff, and parents. It was a little bit of a hectic day. We had a lot of staff out. We had a number of people covering classrooms. Thank you to everybody who helped out covering a class, either for a teacher or covering a recess duty or covering a lunch duty. You know, Dr. McGee, our superintendent, even came over here and he helped out with doing some lunch duties and some recess duties. So thank you to everybody who helped with that. Also, what a way to start the day. Google, which is an amazing program, had a worldwide shutdown. So, you know, that's a problem if you use Google Classroom, if you use Google Docs, if you use a Chromebook, if you use pretty much anything. So, luckily, the Google engineers got on the phone and they called Mr. Jim Gosser our director of technology, and he did a great job. He worked behind the scenes with Mrs. Christie, and Google started working by about 8 o'clock or so. So it wasn't like the whole day was like Google not working. So thank you to everybody who made that work. That helped everybody who was here, and it also helped our D1 folks who are working from home. We appreciate that. All right, what else is going on? Did you see the Eagles game on Sunday? I wanted to talk to everybody about it yesterday, but because Google was down for a little while, it kind of threw a monkey wrench in our Hawk TV show, but the Eagles won. Woo! E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. Woo! Playoffs, anyone? Hmm, could be a nice Christmas present. We'll see. That was great. Let's uh, keep hoping and praying that they do well. All right. What else is going on? Uh, oh, yes. So um, there are some students who have said to me, hey, Dr. G, um, we know you're a huge Star Trek fan, which I am. I, I have always been a huge Star Trek fan. And the students have said, can you tell us the difference between humans on Earth who are getting ready for the holidays and Vulcans on the planet Vulcan and how they get ready for the holidays. So I said, okay, let's, let's see what we can do. So if you are on Earth, there are probably some humans who are sort of like, I am so excited about the holidays. The holidays are coming real soon, real soon. I'm not going to do any work. I'm going to stay up late all night. Mommy and daddy are going to give me Christmas cookies for breakfast. Woo! Okay. So that's how some humans on Earth act. What I love about the Vulcans, they're not people who don't have emotions. They just, they don't show it. They're just kind of calm. Okay. So on the planet Vulcan, if there were some students who were excited about the holidays, they would use some hand signals. And it's amazing what those hand signals would really signify, okay? So like a principal at the Vulcan Science Academy might be walking down the hall and see some first graders. And the first graders, instead of, you know, doing cartwheels and saying like, woo, 10 days till Christmas, woo, they would probably do something like this. They would probably just look calmly quietly at the principal and go.
And then the principal, who would also be a Vulcan, would take that and understand it as the student is saying, hello, principal. I am joyous that in 10 short days, we will be celebrating the holidays. I know that I must continue with my Canvas work, and I know that I must continue with my iReady work, and I know that I must continue to be focused and a productive citizen and a lifelong learner. But I am excited that in 10 short days, it'll be a holiday. And then you know what? The principal on Vulcan would say, would use like another hand signal, probably something like this or something like this. And what that would mean, okay, is young student, I am glad to hear that you are very joyous about the upcoming holidays. I too am hopeful that there will be a rip in the space time continuum and that tomorrow would actually be the holiday. That would make me very happy. Your teacher and I have already talked about the fact that if we were to actually be on the holiday, we would be building a snowman outside. But young student, your dedication, your sense of focus, your ability to realize what's important in life so that you too can become a productive citizen and a lifelong learner has inspired me. And now I am going to go back to work. I am not going to go outside and build a snowman. I am not going to be focused on the holidays. In fact, we shall speak of the holidays no more. Live long and prosper. So there you have it in a nutshell. Humans on earth, maybe sometimes being a little too excited about things. And then Vulcans on planet Vulcan having excitement inside, but just not showing it. So I think for the next couple of days, we should try that. When I'm walking around the halls, pretend you're a Vulcan, okay? I don't want to see people doing cartwheels. I don't want to see Miss Maddie doing a cartwheel down the hall. No, I want to see people calm, cool, collected. And you can share your excitement with hand signals, right? Like if I see you in the hall today, you might go. And then I might go. Or like that. All right. And then we'll know what we're really thinking inside, but we're going to keep it all in. Okay. All right. Have a great day, everybody.